guess what I got? Free wing A4 80 millimeter. Well, you got to be honest, it ain't mine. Friend of mine, Ryan, had a bit of a mishap with it. And so he knows I love working on planes. So he gave me the opportunity to fix his plane for him. So I be honest, he uh, he busted the fuse pretty bad. This is a brand new fuselage. Uh, I'm going to fix up the wing because the bottom of the wing is pretty crinkled. So I'm going to use the steamer on that along with the nose, get everything all tidied up in the in the battery compartment like I normally do. I'll take you along uh, for the ride. Anyway, uh, if you have any questions, leave a comment, like, subscribe, all the cool stuff. Stick around. Okay, so I'm gonna be working on the different pieces and parts. First thing I'm gonna do is take off the wings because the wings need a fair amount of work. Oh, by the way, if you don't have a little piece of foam to put your planes on as you're working on them, uh, you need to get one. Uh, find something that works for you. It will uh, prevent your plane from getting all that dings and such during your uh, builds. Yeah, so let's see, let's take off the wing. And got magnet. 3D print these little trays <laughs> that allow me to keep everything kind of nice and tidy in my shop as I'm working on these things. I need to grab the right screwdriver. Oh, by the way, interesting thing. Some of these, I, I found difficulty with some of my normal screwdrivers. You know, I take a really nice Klein, uh, but every it, it seemed as though the it, it was much more pointy and it wouldn't get enough purchase on those screws, even some of my normal ones. So anyway, I, I ended up getting these vessels and they're uh, different, they're uh, Japanese and they sure fit these screws really well. I rarely have you know, issues where I'm tearing them apart. Uh, really nice screwdrivers, these vessels, I have two different sizes. Uh, they seem to be my go-to for now on. Uh, I like Kleins, they're great tools, but they didn't fit as well. Anyway, all right, so here we go. We're gonna take this wing off. All right, one wing down, one wing to go. Come on. And another connector. And boy, I'm um, not sure what happened here. I think maybe when Ryan had an incident with his plane, this got either broken or something because it looks like it's glued in. When you're taking apart some of these planes, sometimes stuff happens. Or maybe that's just how you know this plane is set up that they just glue these things in. I don't know. Um, we'll we'll keep playing around. Who knows? Anyway. I'm gonna go through with the steamer, steam this. This wing looks pretty good. The other wing's a little bit more damaged. So I'm just gonna clean them up, get them so they're as straight as possible. Uh, All right, that's about it for now. I'm gonna take this part, uh, put you know, get the steamer going and see if I can fix some of those, some of those creases. See what we can do about this wing. It's in pretty rough shape. Uh, we'll see if we can get this foam to re-expand a little bit. Find that sometimes just going over it a little bit and then letting it rest. Seems like the, it starts uh, ironing out some of these wrinkles. Some of it where it's really compressed. Eh, not going to have as much success. But some of the smaller ones we will, and we'll expand. You know, we might get a little popcorning. A little bit. We're probably gonna. But not much we can do. If I, I almost think that using my thumb 
just kind of smoothing things out. Seems to help a little bit more than anything else, but <clears throat> all right, let's see this side. I'm just going to take this right against each one of those little creases, just heat it up. You see, these small ones just disappear, they expand, but these. Like right in this spot here, eh, probably not going to re-expand to the same volume it was. But some of the smaller ones, they absolutely will. <clears throat> Keep in mind, you're not going to get this thing back to perfect. But maybe a little less noticeable. Maybe the parts will fit a little bit better. But getting it back to original, probably not, unless you wanted to basically take a spackle, re-spackle, sand it, spackle it, coat it with urethane, a couple coats, and then paint it. <laughs> then you can make it look great. But that's... There's a lot of work involved there that sometimes we just don't want to mess with. Actually, that's coming together much better. The net look doesn't look as horrific. It's still pretty bad. But that's what we keep doing. We'll just keep on a little bit at a time, knowing that it's not going to be perfect. On these big crinkles, it's just, it's just not. But is it going to be better? I think so. Okay, well, let me walk you through kind of where we're at. As you can see, cleaned up the uh, inside of this much better, um, kind of orderly. Uh, zip tied some of the bundles together. We might have to remove those when connecting them to the receiver. Uh, E6000 is smeared all over this area. That's where we're gonna double stick. Um, Ryan uses a jetty. He's going to put a Jetty Rex 10 right there. Got the power lead coming in, and it's kind of attached over here to the uh, side. Um, basically, all the other cables that I could run through the uh, plywood and then attach my grippy stuff. So uh, that's pretty much it. I'm cleaning that area up. Uh, the wings have been steamed. Best we can do. And so that's looking pretty good. I'm going to plug it into one of my receivers and test everything. And uh, then I'll get it back to Ryan. There was one other thing that I did. Um, on his canopy, it was missing this piece of plastic that enables the canopy to lock down to this right, that hatch, or uh, that latch right there. Uh, that plastic piece was missing. So this, there was nothing holding the canopy in place. So the canopy would just lift out. Uh, so now we just took a piece of plastic from my handy dandy plastic supply of, <laughs> of uh, Marriott cards and a simple way to cut that out, use a little file to file off just the nubbin right there. And that's where basically that piece of plastic glued onto that foam holds everything in place. So pretty much done there as well. So here we are, pretty much uh, completed for the most part. Um, you know, the big thing was trying to get all the wrinkles out and you know, there's still some wrinkles in it. There's no doubt, I couldn't get them all out. Uh, I made them so they aren't maybe as prominent. Uh, the nose cone uh, might look a little bit better, but it's still pretty compressed. Uh, best thing to do with this, frankly, is just buy a new one. Uh, they're not very expensive, but I know they were out of stock. So, or if we really wanted to do it up, you know, we would recoat it with spackle, sand it, polyurethane, a uh, couple coats, and then repaint it. But man, that's that's a lot of work. Now, replacing the fuselage, that was a smart move. Um, for a couple bucks, get a new fuselage, transfer over everything. Doesn't take that much time. And boy, it makes a difference uh, in how they look. The battery compartment is all tidied up as I 
showed you previously. So that's all done. I've tested it. I've hooked up my receiver, tested all the all the function. Everything works great. So uh, now going to go back to Ryan and uh, he can have some fun with it.